Hello there beautiful humans, my name is RadishDX and welcome to my channel where today we're talking about something that I don't think I've ever talked about on this channel before. I mean I might have mentioned it in some Nickelodeon videos but we're going to talk about an Avatar The Last Airbender game. And so you probably don't know this but I'm actually a huge fan of Avatar. I mean it's definitely one of my favorite Nickelodeon series right next to Spongebob. And so I've always been interested in trying out some Avatar games. I haven't really heard like great glowing things about them, but we have this new one that was just announced called Avatar Quest for Balance. And so this is being developed by, you know, my favorite people at Game Mode Entertainment, Bam Tang Games. And basically it's an upcoming action adventure video game that lets you play either solo or in two player local or online co-op as your choice of nine different Avatar The Last Airbender characters. It's on a bunch of different platforms this fall, PC, Nintendo Switch, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, and then Xbox Series X. And so, if you look at this footage over here, you can see that there's so many different iconic locations and different scenes from the show that you can recognize here. And this almost reminds me of like a True for Square like setup. It looks like they're just gonna run through various events of the show, and that just seems really cool. They even got the same like 2D art style of the show, so it definitely has an Avatar feel to it. I know some people probably would have preferred like a fully 3D game, but I think this animated style really suits Avatar, and it's kind of hard to match an avatar game in that sense to be honest so i'm kind of glad that we're seeing it like this so far the characters confirmed to be playable so far are Aang, Toph, Sokka, and Katara but you can see a bunch of other characters in there like Zuko for instance so i imagine that he might be playable as well i'm not really sure what the other four playable Why? characters are maybe like Uncle Iroh, um, Azula, maybe that Kyoshi warrior I, her name is like really escaping me right now i mean there's just so many you can do maybe Appa counts as a character <laughs> i don't really know at this point because it looks like you can fly a little bit as Appa in the game so that's gonna be really cool. What seems really interesting about the gameplay that I'm seeing over here is that it looks like you'll be utilizing the four elements quite a bit and those four elements seem to be a main focus in terms of like solving puzzles and such which kind of gives me like a Legend of Zelda like vibe. I really think that like this game it doesn't seem like the most amazing game in the world but it definitely looks like a nice solid adventure and I know people are just gonna look at game mode and Bamtang and just be like eh it's not gonna be anything special. I will say however that Bamtang game they were responsible for the three Nickelodeon Kart Racers games and while those games don't really seem like really significant titles in the general public, the way that the games improved from title to title is really impressive to me and so it definitely shows me that Bamtang Games is a studio that does care about the games and wants to make them as good as they can be with the limited resources that they probably have and so I think that this game is going to be at its worst just a decent action adventure game and so it definitely looks solid I really like the art style it's not like the most graphically impressive game that I've ever seen but it's a really nice avatar looking game and so I don't know I'm kind of looking forward to this. I'm just really glad to see that Avatar is coming back in full force. I mean, this is lined up quite nicely with, I think, the live action show is going to have some news come out this year. Um, there's also the theatrical movie that's coming out either next year or the near afterwards. And so there's a lot of Avatar content coming out in the Why? future. So this honestly might just be an appetizer what's to come. Maybe there's going to be even more Avatar games coming out in the future. Um, this seems like a nice little like linear action adventure game. According to a quote from the developer, there's going to be 18 drilling chapters so it almost reminds me of how true for square is set up in terms of like how they captured specific memories of the show and turned them into levels and so i'm seeing a very similar structure over here hopefully one day we get like a triple a open world action adventure game with avatar i really think that's something this series really deserves but we'll just have to see if that ever happens but for now i'm looking forward to this i'm gonna definitely keep an eye on this and can't wait to see what else comes from it um let me know your thoughts about this game in the comment section below are y'all excited for it are y'all not let me know why i why not and just uh yeah let's keep an eye on this and um have some fun with it i can't wait to hear more all right y'all be sure to subscribe to this channel if you want to keep up to date with the avatar the last airbender quest for balance game anytime we get some new news about the game i'm going to post about it right here so thank you all so much this is riders riding out